what's up everyone here we are bringing you a, another video <clears throat> on the inside post for the kentucky derby today we are giving you five horses that we think can win the kentucky derby um, and kind of giving you some reasons of why we think that and the prices or the odds of these horses however all the horses can win obviously as we saw last year but we have five horses that we think have the best chance All right, so right off the bat, <clears throat> we're using number 10, Practical Move, at 10 to 1. Of course, this course is not getting a lot of respect, I don't think, um, coming in from the Santa Anita Derby, winner of the San Felipe, the Los Al Futurity, and third in the Bob Hope. Um, has done it all out in California, and we've seen these California horses in the past come in and run really well in the Derby. Um, I really think the horse did it fairly easily in the Santa Anita Derby, um, really had no competition. Mandarin hero, I guess made a bid and Skinner made a bid also. Um, but other than that, the horse has done really well. This is a Tim Yachtin horse. Um, this one is not trained by Bob Baffert or has never been trained by Bob Baffert. Um, this is all Tim Yachtin and he is proud to say it. Um, this horse has beat out some of the other Baffert, California horses, um, Fort Bragg, Newgate, um, and I believe he's raced against National Treasure, uh, but National Treasure did beat him, but I think he came back and beat National Treasure later on in the San Felipe. Um, <clears throat> so, practical move at 10 to 1 is a pretty good price. Like I said, you have to take consideration of these um, California horses, um, they usually have some speed, um, and some tacticalness to them. Uh, I just think the horse is probably not going to get looked at a whole lot. I mean, his, his odds are probably going to stay there and at a good price of 10 to one, definitely a horse that can be a contender. Next, we're going to go with Derma Sodagaki. Yes, the... Japan bred horse, the Japan shipped horse. Um, again, everybody's panicked about this 17 hole. I mean, we, we got a new gate um, for the Kentucky Derby now. I don't see that this is an issue. I know the, the gate is like over 43. But um, if any horse is going to do it, why not be the first time for Japan, first time for the 17 hole? Um Interesting enough, it's kind of harder to predict what this horse will do pace-wise, um, just because it's kind of hard to read some of the pace scenarios coming from these um, overseas shippers. But however, if you look back at his UAE Derby, uh, I mean, he he romped in that thing, and he looks fast on the track. His workouts look really, really good. Um, his stable mate, not, or not really his stable mate, but I guess the horse that he's been training with and continue are, not so great, um, but he's able to just pull up alongside him, passing with ease, and the gallop outs of Derma Sotogaki have been huge compared to his J Japan counterpart. Um, I like this horse at 10 to 1. Um, of course, I let the 17 hole be a little biased to me as well and kind of pulled back on this horse once he got that uh, draw. But I think, you know, J Japan is doing the right thing, building for speed, building for these types of races. It's only a matter of time before they win it. They have a really good chance in here. Um, kind of don't know what he's going to do, if he's going to break and go to the lead. Is he going to sit mid-pack? Is he going to sit off the pace? Um, that's kind of a big question mark with w what the connections are um, kind of going through behind the scenes. Uh, he gets Christoph Lemire again aboard and is one of the best upcoming riders um overseas he 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 did wonders in the uh breeders cup when japan took the breeders cup by storm and here they are with a pretty good chance to win the kentucky derby next will be our biggest price on the board um a horse that can win kind of play spoiler uh it, we we're kind of at a toss right now um between 
Tappet Trice and Hit Show. I think Tappet Trice is more of a Belmont type horse. Um, don't get me wrong, he's very, very good. Um, I just don't like the five to one price on him. Um, we're gonna go elsewhere. We're gonna go to the inside, all the way to the inside, and Hit Show. Of course, I feel like this horse is not getting a whole lot of respect. At 30 to 1, I know he has the rail, and I don't think it's going to affect him much. Um, he could still get out of the gate and sit mid pack, which is what, is what he is used to doing. Um, Brad Cox is pretty high up on this horse. It gets Manny Franco aboard. Second last time out in the Wood Memorial, um, beaten by a nose, I believe, to, to Lord Miles, who's also in here. Um, it's kind of jostled in between horses there at the end between those Lord Miles and I think it was Dreamlike. Um, so if he could just get out and get into the clear hit show can make a big run. The horse is definitely bred for it with candy ride with the actress and tap it on the other side. Um, and Brad Cox is training horses really well. Manny Franco, a really hard rider, um, will get this horse where it needs to be. It's just going to have a lot of work to do from the one spot. However, at 30 to one, take a shot at this horse. The horse has been the betting favorite in every one of its starts and has been off the board one time. It was a fourth in an optional claiming race. Um, wins the weather. And then, like I said, was beaten by a nose in the Wood Memorial just because it kind of got pinched in between two horses and couldn't really break through. The prime power on this horse is a 151 second in this field of 20 horses. Um, so why not take a swing and try to pick this one out for... 30 to 1 on a win bet. Next, we are going with Angel of Empire. This horse will probably be or has been our top pick or our kind of number one over Forte currently. Um, we picked this horse in the Arkansas Derby. Really liked what this horse was able to do in the Arkansas Derby, um, where it kind of went four wide, made the big, big sweeping move coming in. Uh, coming out of the final turn and then in the stretch drive was just able to pull away. <clears throat> However, there wasn't a whole lot in that field um, beating out King Russell, big, big long shot and reincarnate was probably second or third choice in there as well. Um, but if you look back and look at the risen star um, at fairgrounds, a lot of horses coming out of the risen star went on to win their next race. So a lot of class coming out of that grade two stakes race, um, Angel of Empire seems to be a horse that's improving his speed figures race after race. Another Brad Cox train, Flavion Pratt gets them out again um, and has looked really, really good on the Churchill Downs track for his workouts. Um, definitely one that we are going to put a big win wager on here. We have a, um, I guess, the, the early Kentucky Derby betting pools when they opened. We have one for Angel of Empire on that as well so we are big angel of empire fans for the kentucky derby and lastly of course is forte what has the horse done wrong absolutely nothing i mean you go back and look the worst finish is fourth in the sanford a grade three stakes race at saratoga and then hasn't lost since um did it in spectacular fashion in the breeders cup juvenile beating out cave rock and national treasure comes back in the fountain of youth puts away all competition and rocket can and cyclone mischief with a 103 career best speed figure there and then in the florida derby when we all counted this horse out coming into the stretch was able to just maneuver traffic and get past mage um the horse has won in incredible fashion in its last five starts um and definitely the way it was able to win in that Florida Derby. I mean, if it, if this horse gets the perfect trip, it, it should win the Kentucky Derby. Um, as long as it doesn't get buried, get in traffic, um, or kind of get boxed in, Forte could be in trouble. But again, a horse that's done nothing wrong, the speed of the field right now, um, and has done it in several different ways of, of finding the wire. Um, so a lot of people will be on this horse three to one. That's a great price on this horse. Probably will be closer to two to one. Um, come post time, we'll take some money um, on wind wagering. Um, but definitely one that is kind of a must use in any type of wagering, um, but especially a wind wager. 
So there's our five horses that we think win the Kentucky Derby. We know all these horses can win just by last year's rich strikes, um, upset bid. Um, but those five are the ones that we are kind of focusing in on and watching. I know we left Tappet Trice off and two fills off. Um, it, I'm not saying Tappet Trice won't be there. We just kind of like some of the other horses better. Um, I really think it's a, in our opinion, a two horse race between Angel of Empire right now and Forte. Um, we will see what everything boils down to um, come the post parade and who kind of gets that worked up for this big running of the Kentucky Derby. <clears throat> We thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Give us a subscribe to get us to a thousand before Kentucky Derby Day. And we hope you win big.